What is up you guys, this is AllZaneZ1 on the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you another Apex Legends video. And with this video I'm going to be giving you is going to be a guide on Bloodhound. So Bloodhound is basically like a detective or dog you can say because he can sniff out the enemies. He can see clues, he can see doors that they've opened and where they've been at last and how long ago they were there. So we're going to go ahead and go right into it. So here I'm just going to be showing you basically how both of these abilities work. So for your tactical, with the tactical it allows you to see at like the last places your enemies were at and where they currently are right now if or whenever you use your tactical. So you'll see some clues hidden on the floor. And then with the ultimate as you can see the enemies are highlighted red and that is at real time. It's not like previous clues and you can also see their footsteps on the floor of where they go. And a good combination is having your ally using a smoke bomb as well as you using the tactical or your not tactical but your ultimate so you can still see them through the smoke. And as you can see you can still see the footprints of your enemies right here and you can see them highlighted so it's really hard for them to get away from you. But not only that you can also see their loot boxes and everything that they've dropped and their portals which could technically be considered a trap. You can see all those whenever you do use your tactical or your ultimate. Now we're going to go a little further in depth with the tactical ability because I know the tactical ability might not make too much sense but right here you can see all the little clues that are seen with the footsteps and whatnot. So if the footsteps, well with the footsteps and whatnot, they're going to have a timer on them. So if it's a full timer that means that they were literally just there like a second ago. If the timer is there at least like halfway that means they were there like maybe 20 seconds ago. So it's going to be very useful to use your tactical ability whenever you're, you know, if you know the enemies are nearby but you just don't know exactly where they're at. So I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with your ultimate. So the ultimate works a little bit like the tactical but instead it's more at real time like I had said earlier and the reason why I'm saying real time is because with the tactical it only allows you to see like the previous spot but with the ultimate you can see them exactly where they're at as well as like for example if they're bleeding out or whenever wherever they broke their armor or whenever they open the door or their footprints you will see all of that at real time which I think is really nice and you can also it would be useful to have a mic on with other players so you can tell them where they're at where they're hiding and what door they've opened etc etc and that's pretty much it with Bloodhound he's not a difficult class to use at all he's probably one of the easiest in my opinion and honestly I think he is definitely one of the best assets in to have in a team because he can see enemies nearby and whatnot now what I would recommend doing with um, Bloodhound when you do play as him is only use your tactical whenever you feel like there are enemies nearby don't always just use it because it is about a 25 second cooldown I think it's a 25 second cooldown I wasn't paying attention to it but it is a it is a long cooldown it's not a short one but you can also use your ultimate but use your ultimate when you know there's danger now when I say use your ultimate I don't mean use it whenever you see the enemy straight up like if you and your allies all see the enemy right there Use it whenever you know that their enemy is nearby but you don't know exactly where they're at. That's the only time I would highly recommend using ultimates because you don't want to get flanked. You don't want to get just jumped on. You want to use that ultimate so you can get the jump on them. But that's pretty much it with this video. If this helped you out, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section as well. And I'll try my best to help you guys out with whatever it is you need. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is all day day one on the PS4. Have a good day, good night, and peace.